Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make homemade glazed donuts. Pillowy, soft, melt-in-your-mouth donuts are super easy to make. This recipe starts with two and a half teaspoons of instant dry yeast and a quarter cup of white sugar. To that, we're gonna add in half a cup of warm water, and you want it just warm to the touch like a baby's bath water, along with a quarter cup of evaporated milk. You'll need half a teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter cup of vegetable shortening. Now I know that shortening isn't everyone's favorite ingredient, but when making donuts, it produces the flakiest, most tender result, so I like to use it. Then last, we'll add in all-purpose flour. You'll need about three cups total, but start with two and a half and add more as needed. Then we'll go ahead and get this mixing. Now you don't need a stand mixer, it just makes it a lot easier. You can always do this by hand. Start by stirring with a spoon and then knead it with your hands once it gets too tough to stir. Add enough flour that the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl and forms a smooth ball. The dough should be super pillowy soft and tacky, but not sticky. Then we'll transfer the dough to a lightly greased bowl, cover with a tea towel or plastic wrap, then let this rise until double in size, which will take about an hour and a half. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up real quick. After an hour, we're gonna turn our dough out onto a clean and lightly floured countertop. Then we're gonna roll this out into a giant quarter to half inch circle. You can use a donut cutter or you can use a round biscuit cutter. You'll just need a large circle and a small circle or you could really just cut it out with a knife too. This recipe should be enough to make 12 donuts. Don't forget to save your donut holes and cook those up too. Now, once you have them all cut, then you'll take the scraps and re-roll. Let the cut donuts rise on the counter for about 30 minutes while you heat up your oil and prepare the glaze. You can fry using either vegetable oil or vegetable shortening. You want to pour in enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan with about an inch deep of oil for frying. Then heat up the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a good idea to mix up your glaze while your oil is heating up. That way you can dip your donuts in while they're still warm. The glaze starts with one and a third cup of powdered sugar. Then add in just a pinch of salt and two tablespoons of melted butter, two teaspoons of evaporated milk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then last, you pour in water to thin it out until it reaches its desired consistency. You don't want it too thick or too thin, but it's really hard to mess it up. You want it to be thin enough so that you can easily dip your donuts into it and the donut won't stick or be hard to pull out. Now, once the oil reaches 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll be ready to fry. I like to fry my donuts about three at a time, because that's what fits nicely. They really only need about a minute or two per side, and give them a flip when they're a nice golden brown. Once they're cooked on both sides, remove them from the hot oil and transfer to a paper towel lined rack to cool a little bit. The donuts cook so fast, that they'll all still be warm by the time they're cool enough to touch so that you can dip them into the glaze and then set them onto a wire rack. If you place a little parchment paper or wax paper underneath, then it'll drip through and make for easy cleanup. And then of course, we can't forget about our donut holes. We don't want any of this goodness to go to waste. Just carefully drop those in. You don't wanna splash yourself. And use a slotted spoon to flip them around. Then once those are golden, fish them out. Whoops, we lost one. And place them onto a paper towel lined rack too to drain. And these are a little messier to glaze. Just roll it around in that glaze so it gets completely covered, and then place that onto a rack too. Warm donuts are the best, so there's no need to wait. You can dig right in. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.